Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, and welcome to Rinse and Repeat with the Shower Cap Kids. However, this is not our traditional Shower Cap Kids episode, because today we are doing a bit of a mini-sode to promote Caught in the 1X. The, the 1X at Lockwood Township High School are a student-directed organization where we put on three student-directed shows and an improv show. So why don't we introduce them first? Welcome, please. Paige Govita. Hi, my name is Paige, and my co-director for our 1X, and her name is Katie, and our show is called The ABC Murders, and it's basically about a murderer that's on the loose, but he's murdering people in order of alphabetical order of last name and the town, so like A gets killed first, then B, then C, and the whole player trying to figure out who the murderer is, so that's all right. Excellent. Thank you very well, much. I think I want to be Z. I think I want to be Z, that's for sure. <laughs> Well, it sucks because you're at the beginning of the alphabet, my guy. Now, let's throw it over to oh, Nora Galogli. Hi, I'm Nora. I co-direct The Scrap of Lace along with Riley. Um, the Scrap of Lace is a murder mystery where a girl is murdered on the esteemed Kruger estate. And it is up to the detective Madame Story to figure out which one of the mansion's inhabitants is the killer. Ooh. Thank you so that much, is. Ms. Galogli. How fascinating. I won't be wearing lace that day, you can guarantee that. And now, Likewise. finally, let's throw it, not finally, there's two more people, let's throw it to Brooke Boster. Hi, my name is Brooke Boster. I co-direct um, Alive in the Grave with Amelia Kuntzis. And our show is basically about a man named Joe o Alish, who has to figure out whether or not he caused a man to be buried alive. Wow. I think wow. I feel alive in the grave right now, that's for sure. Yeah. Every day I'm alive Thank in the you. grave. Thank you, well, let's, why don't you tell us a little bit about the show, Mr. Ryan Adolf? Well, it's basically most of them take place in different time periods, and they all revolve over the same theme of a, of a fun murder mystery. And you uh, see it when it premieres Friday the 5th. You'll be able to stream it for two days after your purchase of tickets on Show Ticks for You, and make sure you search Lockport to find the show. Why don't you say that website one more time for all of our listeners at home? Uh, it's going to be show ticks for you. S H O W T I X, the number four and the letter yeah. U. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mr. Adolf. Now, Shredder, why don't you explain what we're going to be doing today? Well, thank you, Monster, very much. So, it would not be a 40s episode without a classic game. So, like all the uh, uh, rinse and repeat episodes, we do a news segment. So, for this segment, we will do recap the 40s. So we will have, for this special 40 segment, we will have two false news statements and one true one. Are and you it's ready? your job to guess which is the true one. Do we have any questions from the peanut gallery? No. No. It looks like no. So <laughs> why don't you pick us off with the story? They look more bored than our audience, that's for sure. Um, um, okay, so... <laughs> no. <laughs> event number one that happened throughout the 40s. A man by the name of Mark, we don't know his last name, worked at a diner with his friends, and he decided to go on a murderous villainous, murderous spree and cut up his victims in patty-sized pieces in 1942. How interesting. How, how, how murderous, how bloody, how oh. awful. And now, for our, for our second story, in, in 1938, I know it's not the 40s, but it's close enough, two men in San Francisco um, would kidnap people on the streets and then feed them to the lions in the San Francisco Zoo. And it went undiscovered for years. Incredible. And on the last event in the 40s, the microwave was invented. So which one's the lie? Or I, the truth? I think the first one. <laughs> Definitely. The first one's true? The first one is true? The first one's a lie, I think. There's two lies. There's two, There's two lies. lies. Well, the first one is a lie, I think. Okay. 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 I also think the first one is a lie. Okay. I feel like I've heard the second one before. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, Mrs. Hobita. What about you, Miss Galogli? I'm just trying to remember if the microwave was invented in the 1940s. <laughs> <laughs> like, I should know that, but I don't. So. I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. I don't know. I feel like the microwave wasn't invented in the 40s. For some when do you think the microwave was invented then? Like the 60s, for some reason. 
<laughs> All right. I'll I'll comment on that. On. I remember the microwave. Leftovers were never the same after 1959. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking of like when did TV dinners start like getting popular because then that would be the Less microwave. Y'all ever had a hot pocket? The, la- no. the microwave was definitely not invented because they're still listening to the radio. So how would there be a microwave? Yeah. Less. That is not, lo- that is I not logical. I don't know uh, about that logic. Radio waves and microwaves are two different things. They're two different things. <laughs> Like a magnetic spectrum, ma'am. So which which one sounds the most true to you guys? The second one, number two. The most the man, true. The man feeding his victims to the lions at the San Francisco Zoo. Yeah, yeah. I think that one is the lie. I'm gonna contradict my my fellow leaders here. I'm gonna say that one is 100 percent not true. Then what's the truth? Then what is the truth, Mr. Uh, the first one. The first one I can see happening. You think, Mr. Patty Man? <laughs> I don't know. No, Zeke Grinder. <laughs> Interesting. All right. I, I, I watched The Kingsman one time, and I thought, yeah, that could happen. All right, Shredder, do you want to tell them? Do you want to hit them with the truth? The honor's all yours, monster. Oh, the honor's all mine. <laughs> well, the only true story here is that the microwave was invented in the 40s. Oh. That doesn't make any sense to me, but okay, okay. After a quick Google search, I figured that one myself. Well, are you cheating, Mr. Adolf? I did cheat. Thank you so much for joining us for this 40s themed mini episode with the Shower Cap Kids featuring the one act directors. Make sure you stream it on uh, February 5th and have a good night to Miss Musich, the one act producer, and everyone else. Have a night. <laughs> <laughs>